obviously we are facing a very narrow external os it's almost a pinhole uh, here is a demonstration of the value of the fluid pressure plus a gentle push and navigation with the telescope to enter easily as you have seen just rotate make like a screw movement while pushing the telescope gently in the proper direction and give time don't go directly to the inside of the cavity give time for the fluid distension and then rotate rotate the oval shape telescope to fit with the oval shape of the internal os very gradual push it is a tactile sensation and gradual easy access giving time for the fluid to open the tunnel and you see the black hole at the end of the tunnel that leads to the cavity of the uterus so it's all about direction the power of push and the fluid pressure so slowly slowly you gain access to the uterine cavity Obviously, you see that the patient had a poor thin endometrium and she received three trials of IVF embryo transfer and fail. So I am demonstrating a new technique that I developed a couple of years ago and I published it on the YouTube maybe seven years ago and unfortunately not published in a scientific journal. Uh, instead of flushing the endometrium by the platelet-rich plasma, just inject the PRP subendometer. So this guarantee that the rich material will stay and have a, a major effect or the full effect on the endometrium rather than the standard described technique of just infusion of the PRP. So you have, I'm using here the oven pickup needle to go through the channel of the a diagnostic hysteroscopy sheath and very meticulously meticulously just sub endometrial not intramyometrial so the prp the platelet rich plasma act as the fertilizers to nourish the weak soil and have a better endometrium for implantation dear friends thank you very much